Welcome to Commencement 2021. I'm Priscilla Schulte, Director of the University of Alaska Southeast Ketchikan Campus. We are on Tlingit Ani, Tlingit land, and we would like to acknowledge and give honor and respect to the traditional landowners, the Tantaquan and Sanyaquan Tlingit elders, and past, present, and future generations. The areas of land that UAS Ketchikan serve include, but are not limited to, Revia Gagato Island, Prince of Wales, the surrounding territories such as lands as far south as Conaganoot Island, to the southern shores, up Portland Canal, Misty Fjords, to the headwaters of the Eunuch River, and west to Cleveland Peninsula, including the, sm southern s the smaller southern islands outlining Ketchikan, such as Pennock, Ravina, Annette, Duke, Cat, Village, and Dog Islands. These are the ancestral lands of the Tantaquan and Sanyaquan Clinket. Additionally, we would like to thank the Ketchikan Indian Community, Metlakatla Indian Community, and Organized Village of Saxman for their ongoing commitment to the education of the next generation as Haida, Clinket, and Simchian people are a part of the land and have been since time immemorial. This year has been quite different from any other year I can remember in the many years that I have been working at UAS Ketchikan campus and attending these graduation exercises. This year has been drastically changed as well as our lives, our cultural expectations and social interactions. So it is with joy and honor that we present the recognition of the achievements of this year's graduates. In this presentation, you will see the names and pictures of those whose achievements we celebrate. I will miss seeing the faces of all those in our island community who normally would be attending the event we hold each spring at the Ted Ferry Civic Center. The proud parents and spouses, children and grandchildren, uncles and aunties, coworkers, supervisors, and friends who turn out to see their graduate. To those who will be turning their tassels today, we're proud of you. Our faculty and staff are pleased that we've had an opportunity to work with each of you and wish you the best as you continue your life's journey. I'd also like to take the opportunity to recognize the faculty and staff of the University of Alaska Southeast Ketchikan campus. This dedicated group of professionals has guided and assisted in the journey of those who will receive their degrees today. I offer my sincerest thanks to, to them for their personal contributions to our students' success. I also have the opportunity to recognize the many years of exemplary teaching and leadership of Professor Rod Landis. Professor Landis was awarded the status of Professor Emeritus upon his retirement this May by Chancellor Carey. This award is based upon the nomination of his faculty colleagues and supported and endorsed by the Ketchikan Campus Director and Dean of Arts and Sciences, all of whom enthusiastically support his nomination. We thank Professor Landis for his outstanding work and contributions to the University of Alaska Southeast. University of Alaska President Pat Pitney has sent the following message to this year's graduates. Congratulations, University of Alaska Southeast graduates. Today, you, the members of the class of 2021, join the ranks of more than 100,000 University of Alaska System alumni. The journey you began when you started at UAS will continue long after this graduation ceremony. This journey is one that the university has prepared you to take one that will contribute to our state's economy and the communities each of you call home. Your journey will require you to overcome more adversities and challenges. You are no stranger to challenges. This past year has been a significant one for all of us. Graduation is a milestone we're celebrating in any year. And even more important to, to celebrate it given the challenges and unique experience we've shared this past year. I commend you for completing your degree at a time when the world and the university underwent unprecedented change. You have proven that you are determined, resilient, and adaptable 
and this will serve you well in the years to come. The late poet Maya Angelou said, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. Defeat, she says, allows you to know who you are, where you can rise from, and how you can still succeed. Have confidence, use your strengths, do not be deterred. The university is key to our state's economic recovery and its long-term future. You will become part of our economic foundation. As a graduate of the University of Alaska Southeast, you are positioned well to succeed. For those of you starting your career as a teacher, biologist, manager, or any other occupation, I know that you will help build our, a stronger Alaska. For those of you whose next step will be to continue towards an advanced degree, I know you've built a great foundation in your time here at University of Alaska Southeast. Whatever, your, whatever path you choose, walk it with great personal strength. Whatever you choose to do, do it well and with passion. My parting advice to you today is to remain curious, continue to expand your knowledge and find ways throughout your career to give back to your community. I hope you will continue to make your home here in Alaska. Every chance you get, I hope you will encourage others to follow your path in becoming a University of Alaska Southeast graduate. And Alaska needs leaders. Our future is in your hands. I'll leave you today with the words of Nelson Mandela, who said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Well, you've done it. Congratulations again on your, your degree. And whatever your next steps, remember your experiences here at University of Alaska Southeast that made it all possible. Have fun in your future. Dr. Karen Carey serves as Chancellor of the University of Alaska Southeast. As Chancellor, she provides strategic leadership in fulfilling the UAS mission, including budget development, academic planning and program assessments, student and enrollment services, administrative services, and community relations. She strongly believes that UAS makes a difference in student lives and improves the quality of life in our culturally rich communities. Here are a few words from Chancellor Carey. Today we celebrate the accomplishments of graduates from the University of Alaska Southeast. This weekend we have also honored graduates at our UAS campuses in Ketchikan and in Sitka. This is truly a time of celebration. Last year when COVID first hit us, I thought, well, we'll be back to school in no time. I think a lot of us thought we'd get back to normal very quickly and that life would continue on as before. Little did any of us know that COVID would still be with us more than a year later. Some people decided to work on jigsaw puzzles, learn to cook, or watch hours and hours of Netflix during the pandemic. But not you. What you have done is truly awe-inspiring. Even in the midst of a pandemic, you persevered, demonstrated your strength and your resilience. You are special and to me, you are awesome. Years from now, people will ask you where you were during the 2021 pandemic. And you can tell them your own personal story of how you completed your education. Life is tough sometimes, but you have shown that you have the capacity to face life head on and reach for and attain your goals. Remember that when life presents other obstacles, you are special and you are very, very strong. I know you will succeed in life, whether you are getting a job, going on to graduate school, or continuing to focus on your family. You have shown us that you are non-stoppable. You will attain your goals because you are special and you will succeed. I know that you have had support from family and friends. Be sure to thank them for their support. If you have children, take a moment to thank them 
and spend a few extra minutes with them because they too are resilient. The University of Alaska Southeast is your school and your home. We will always be here for you. We will always cherish what you have accomplished and we will never forget you. You are special and you are UAS. Good luck to you. Come visit us after the pandemic. If you completed your degree online, I would love to give you a personal tour of our campuses when we can. Stay safe, stay strong, and always remember that you are special. Commencement ceremonies offer UAS the opportunity to recognize individuals who have shown significant dedication to public, academic, volunteer, or philanthropic service to the university or to an Alaskan community. Today, I have the privilege of recognizing Elizabeth Nelson. Elizabeth has been the artistic or executive director of First City Players since 1985. Under her leadership, First City Players has become a major venue for the arts in our region. First City Players play Fish Pirate's Daughter, a locally written and produced comedy, is the longest running play in Alaska. She has overseen regular sessions of theater in Ketchikan since 1988, every summer since 1997, and every winter since 1999. She has directed children's summer theater camps for students age 8 to 17. These have provided arts education to hundreds of local kids. To summarize recommendation letters submitted to the Board of Regents in support of Elizabeth, her leadership is guided above all by inclusivity and is fueled by an unwa unwavering drive to bring new people into the fold. She is a visionary in her outreach to the broader Ketchikan community and beyond. Her career has been devoted not only to the financial stability and artistic integrity of the organization, but to the social health of our community. Ketchikan is an incredible place for any artist to live or for anyone who loves the arts. For the better part of 30 years, Elizabeth Nelson has been an enormous part of building that community. In addition to her work with First City Players, Elizabeth Nelson has served as an adjunct faculty for UAS, teaching theater history, literature, and acting courses. She has been honored by WISH, Women in Safe Homes, as a woman of distinction, and she is the re recipient of the Delta Kappa Gamma Red Apple Award for her creative energies and outstanding efforts on behalf of children. She's also been recognized for her work with Rotary, Boys and Girls Club, Youth Court, Pioneer Home, Ketchikan Theater Ballet, and the Ketchikan Gateway School District. On behalf of the University of Alaska Regents and UAS Chancellor Karen Carey, I'm honored to present Elizabeth Nelson with a 2021 Meritorious Service Award for her outstanding leadership and devotion to the arts community of Ketchikan and throughout the region. Our graduation speaker this year is one of Ketchikan's most recognizable faces, the teacher and performer Claire Bennett. Claire fuses these roles so they're nearly indistinguishable. To take a class from her is to review, is to view a performance. Careful, you'll be invited to join her on stage and to watch her act, sing or dance is to learn something new that will stay with you. Claire has been acting in First City Player shows for 35 years and in 1995 won several awards at ActFest. Best Director, Best Musical Director, and Best Supporting Actress for the musical review Side by Side by Sondheim. Her teaching career began in the mid 80s at Ketchikan High School, and she completed her time in the secondary classroom at Revilla High School. Since the early 90s and until just a few years ago, we were fortunate to have her teaching humanities courses full-time at UAS Ketchikan, including composition, speech communication, theater, and Spanish. She is one of the most versatile teachers I've ever known. Claire describes herself in a brief excerpt from her resume when she elaborates how, because of her experience in an improv class, she found acting came to her naturally. Quote, I th could think on my feet. I was funny and I could move in ways most people don't think about moving. 
unquote. Although many will already know her, it is my great pleasure to introduce Claire Bennett. Congratulations, graduating students. We are here virtually to celebrate your achievement. Earning a degree or a certificate is a landmark event at the best of times and a heroic one in the conditions we find ourselves in today. Your stories, the paths you took to get to this moment, are as diverse as the subjects you studied and mastered, but they are all stories nevertheless, and therein lies the similarities. Of all the kinds of stories in the world, I'd like to think of yours in achieving this moment as a kind of fairy tale. We tend to think of fairy tales as stories for children, but there are lessons that keep them relevant and remind us to recognize and celebrate our journeys through the woods to grandmother's house, whatever that might represent to you. Once upon a time, that's how most fairy tales begin. Your tale begins the same. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful little university in the middle of a huge forest. In this university, there were many stalwart students, passionate professors, sagacious staff, and an army of other hardworking helpers. But the most special of all were the 24 graduating students of 2021, who with bravery in the face of obstacles made it through the ordeal. Every fairy tale follows a journey. It has a heroine or a hero who is faced with seemingly insurmountable obstacles to achieving their goal. Through courage, creativity, persistence, compassion, selflessness, patience, and some magical assistance, the obstacle is overcome and a happy ending is the reward. The path is not easy, and the lessons involve very serious matters, life and death, kingdoms, treachery, hunger and ambition, getting lost and getting home. The story has to start with the first step. Yours was the decision to pursue an education. You made that step not knowing exactly what you were getting into, but you made that step with a sense of excitement, apprehension, and maybe a little bit of fear. Now, while we might think of fear as a negative quality, in fairy tales, it is a motivator. Heroes and heroines face all sorts of dangers. Perhaps your fears involve not having time to devote to your class, finding the funding to pay for your education, finding care for your young children, being able to adapt to a new world of distance delivery. You do not let these fears thwart your journey. You took the next step, and the next, and the next. Although you took courageous steps forward, it required patience and creativity to get you through the dark and winding path. For some of you, the journey was as lengthy as you thought it would be. But for others, life constantly got in the way. Year past year, but you didn't give up. You made a plan, took stock of the boulders and chasms in your way, you found the funding, the babysitter, the help on unfathomable assignments, and moved forward. Creativity showed itself in the ways you looked at the pieces of your journey and, through trial and error, found unique solutions. Even the oldest of fairy tales emphasizes the importance of the individual, not just by their names, but also by the importance of who they are and what they do with their lives. You were already beloved by your friends and family. In this forest of university, you made yourselves known to your professors, advisors, staff, and fellow students. Even though the pandemic made face-to-face -face classroom interaction almost non-existent, your online presence and the quality of your work brought you recognition from your teachers. I mentioned teachers as part of your journey because they, seeing you as an individual, struggling sometimes, showed compassion in this COVID-compressed course of studies. They understood that there were situations and conditions out of your control and made adjustments to requirements. Fairy tales contain some startling examples of compassion, reflecting the times in which they were written. In addition to compassion, Love had a place in your story. 
I know you can think of all the people in your life who gave of themselves preparing meals, washing your clothes or your dishes, taking the kids for a while, listening to you when you needed a sympathetic ear. They are a part of your story, just as you are a part of theirs. And it was love on your part as well that continued when you were exhausted or discouraged. Your desire to provide for your loved ones, your drive to achieve an education, and your love for your major were the lights guiding you to the clearing. And now that we stand together in this clearing on a small hill maybe, where the sun is breaking through the enclosing forest, we can see that the road ahead for all of us is a lot longer than the shorter distance we have just traversed to bring ourselves to this celebration today. Our future paths may lead us through an even darker wood with even more treacherous terrain. But take the time to look back and take stock of the strengths that brought you here, your courage, persistence, compassion, and selflessness, the family and friends who came to your aid. These qualities that you relied on during your journey will remain with you. You earned them just as you earned your degree. Whatever path you choose from now on, remember to love your story and look ahead with confidence. You have everything it takes to pursue your happily ever after. With pleasure, we present the degree candidates. The registrar has certified that they fulfilled all academic requirements for the respective degrees. The faculty of the University of Alaska Southeast has recommended that these candidates receive their degrees. Hello, graduates. Congratulations on all your hard work you've done to get to this day of graduation. Would you please stand? By the virtue of the authority vested in me as chair of the Board of Regents under the Constitution of the State of Alaska and upon the recommendation of the chancellors and faculty of the University of Alaska, I confer upon you the degrees to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, honors, and responsibility pertaining thereto.
Hello everyone and welcome and congratulations on graduating from University of Alaska Southeast. Uh, I'm John Redjewowski and I'm a professor of history uh, here on the Ketchikan campus and many of you have taken my courses and uh, unfortunately due to the circumstances with the virus obviously we can't be there in person so uh, I want to uh, issue my, my congratulations to you virtually through this video and uh, they asked me to talk about graduation a little bit and the history of graduation and of course uh, normally in graduation you'd be wearing robes like this or a, a hood like this if you're a, if you're a master's uh, student and um, talk a little bit about why you would wear these. Now a lot of the uh, traditions that we have at universities, a lot of the terminology we use comes from the Middle Ages, uh, which is when universities first started. Uh, universities like Bologna and Paris and Oxford that really began in the 11 and 1200s and the dress that we wear at graduation reflects that. Now back then, you'd never see your professor wearing a uh, jeans and a t-shirt, uh, if you see them on Zoom wearing their pajamas, uh, but they would wear robes like this. Uh, and these were robes from uh, the clergy. Uh, most professors and most students were members of the clergy. They were priests or deacons sometimes. And so the robes they would wear reflected that, but also the university uh, rooms were unheated. And so you needed a nice thick robe uh, to, uh, to keep warm during those long lecture periods. Um, and back then, uh, if you were an important person or you had a, a particular calling in life, a particular profession, you wore the robes of that all the time. And so these weren't something you would just wear at graduation, you'd wear these robes every single day. Um, now these robes also, ha you'll notice, some of them have these long sleeves like this. This type of sleeve was very popular. This was a fashion statement back in the 1200s to have a long sleeve like this. Uh, sometimes it had be a different fabric or a different color. Um, and so that sleeve uh, would sort of show your fashionability. But by wearing a robe like this, you're telling people that you are, that you have, you are graduated and that you have the right to teach certain subjects. Uh, you could be a tutor. Um, so uh, only someone who's graduated could wear a robe like this. In fact, they had laws uh, that would prevent you from uh, wearing a robe like this uh, if you didn't have uh, the qualifications. And you could be very severely punished if you wore these robes robes without the proper uh, certification. Now this is a master's hood and uh, the, uh, the, the different levels back then, uh, most people if you uh, were very well educated you would be a master, that means you had mastered your subject uh, and you had the right to teach that subject at the university. Uh, just a, a, a shorter degree, uh, you could do tutoring off campus but you couldn't teach on campus but to be a, a full faculty member at a university, you at least had to be a master. And one of the ways you show that is to wear a hood like this. And these came to symbolize uh, the, uh, the mastery of your subject. And there would be different fabrics. If you were a more important person, you might get to wear fur in your robe. Uh, but these robes, and these are actual hoods. And back then, hoods were detachable. Um, and so um, you want to detach them in order to wash them separately. Uh, but again, they were first of all for warmth. Um, and normally, uh, these are worn down the back. Uh, they're worn in the front like this uh, on, your, on your master's robe. But in fact, if you look at them, they're actually hoods. And you could actually put them on your head like a hood, like a, like a medieval monk. Okay, now you'll also notice in the back, there's this funny looking little appendage in the back. And this is also from your medieval, from your medieval garb. Um, this is actually, this was actually used in the Middle Ages to pull your hood on and off. Uh, it, it, uh, people only had maybe one or two of these in their wardrobe if they were very lucky. And so you had to reduce wear and tear. You had to treat them very carefully. They were very expensive. Uh, but once you put this on, if you had that hood, um, it showed that you had reached that level of master and had uh, been able to uh, teach and to know your subject better than most. And that was a very, very prestigious position, as it is still today. 
So as you're going forward to your virtual graduation, uh, you may not get to uh, wear all of your robes, uh, but there's a tradition behind them and hopefully uh, one day soon, uh, we'll maybe get together and have a, uh, in a, a, some event where you can wear those and at least hopefully you'll get them and wear them for your family to show that you have reached that level. Once again, my congratulations to you and to uh, you and your family uh, for uh, this achievement. Uh, and uh, uh, for those of you who are in my classes, uh, you know, I'll miss having you, uh, you can, but you can always come back and, and visit us. So once again, thank you. Hello, I'm here today to introduce our student speaker this year. Her name is Jennifer Helberg Nielsen. She is currently graduating with her Associate of Arts degree, and two years ago, she earned her Certified Nursing Aid certification, <clears throat> which she currently uses as a nursing aid for the Ketchikan Pioneer Home. She has been accepted into the Fall 2021 nursing program when she'll begin pursuing her Bachelor's of Science in Nursing through the University of Alaska, Anchorage. Jennifer, her husband, and their three children moved from Oregon to Ketchikan five years ago following her husband's job transfer. They live on a small farm on the north side of the town with a garden on, a, on three acres, five goats, 11 ducks, and 30 chickens. Please welcome Jennifer. Hi, my name is Jennifer Helberg Nielsen, and I have the honor to be your student speaker for the graduating class of 2021. When asked to speak at our graduation ceremony, I wanted to write a speech about inspiration and reaching success, even during times of change and hardship. I researched ins inspiring people and what traits they had in common. Was it commitment, maybe determination? Then it occurred to me that graduating college during the toughest year of our generation is in itself inspiring. Making the additional sacrifices to ensure success is inspiring. Dedicating yourself to your future is inspiring. Having the perseverance and resolution to finish your goals is truly inspiring. I am reminded of a quote by Helen Keller. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet, only through experience, and trial and suffering can the soul of strength and ambition inspire and success achieved. If not for the staff and faculty of UAS, I would not be here talking to the graduating class of 2021. The support and sense of community UAS Ketchikan campus has provided gave me the drive to finish what I started. When I felt I had nothing left, they encouraged and essentially taught me to do it anyway. Life is hard. Change is hard, but do it anyway. It's not every day that your college advisor calls you personally to check on your next term class registration, or you receive a phone call from the most wonderful college librarian on a weekend, no less, because she knows that you need research information for your term paper. I've attended multiple colleges, and I know that UAS provides and has provided the personalized care essential to my success and to my future success. I always used to tell people when they asked me, 
about my degree that I don't have a degree. I have receipts. And now, after three children, a major career change, I can say that I don't just have receipts anymore. I have a degree and a bright future, including continued education at UAS. Congratulations again to all of you on your success on this day and your bright futures. The turning of your tassels from right to left signifies the completion of your journey from student to graduate. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Hi, graduating class of 2021. I'm Brenda and this is Tessa from Student Services here in Ketchikan. We just wanted to say congratulations to you on all of your hard work and accomplishments during this last school year and the time that it took to achieve your degrees. You're finally done. Yay! Yay. No. <laughs> Big congratulations to the class of 2021. I know you've been through a lot um, and we've enjoyed every minute of it. So uh, congratulations for being such a great class and I know you'll do great things in the future. Uh, hello all you graduates. Um, I just want to say a quick congratulations to everyone who's graduating this semester and uh, job well done. Hi everyone, this is Abby and Julia from the business office and we say congratulations. We know you're going to rock your future. Hi, my name is Barbara and I am here to congratulate all the UAS Ketchikan campus graduates on a job well done. And there's no bones about it, you guys are all hashtag done. 2021 UAS graduates, congratulations and best wishes. Congratulations, well done, great job. Now have fun, enjoy life, and we're here if you need us. Hey, it's the ladies from the Ketchikan Campus Library, and we want to wish you 2021 graduates, congratulations, your hard work paid off, and we are so proud of you. Well done, and remember, the library is always open to you, and keep checking your sources. Do it, don't Google it. <laughs> hey, class of 2021, congratulations on graduating. This is Professor Radulowski, and uh, Always find a UAS your home, even if you graduate. Uh, always come back and say hi to us and let us know how you're doing. Uh, have a great graduation and uh, looking forward to uh, hearing about all your success. Thanks so much. Hello, class of 2021. What an interesting year to be finishing your college degree. Congratulations, you've come through a lot of challenges, a lot of unusual circumstances, and it says a lot about you that you were able to follow through and complete your college education goals. Again, congratulations. Hey, this is Shelly from UAS Maritime. I just wanna wish our 2021 graduates a giant congratulations and best of luck on your future. Congratulations, 2021 graduates. I have a lot of empathy for you because I'm leaving myself. I'm graduating from this place after 27 or something years. Anyway, have a great life. And remember, life is a highway. I'm going to drive it all day long. Seriously, go with God. Love you guys. Bye.